to the public and initial public offering. I'm holding the team throughout their long yet fulfilling journey. I'd like to introduce Mr. Subramanian Krishnamurthy, who is the Executive Chief Vice Chairman, Mr. Paramatriwan Srinivasan, who is the Managing Director, Mr. Ramesh Jha, the Chief Financial Officer, and Mr. Hidesh Kumar Singh, who is the Head of Investor Relations. Let me now give you a brief introduction of AFCON's infrastructure. It's a plastic infrastructure engineering and construction company of the Shatpaji Panjim Group and has over six decades of experience in complex infrastructure projects. The group is one of the leading conglomerates in India, operating for over 150 years in the construction industry. AFCONS, during the last 11 years and three months till June, has successfully completed 79 projects across 17 countries with a total value of Rs. 56,305 crores. AFCONS have a strong track record of executing numerous complex, challenging and unique EPC projects within India and globally. Just to give you an example of few of the largest ones in, in the India and abroad, they have completed the tallest single arch railway bridge in the world, the Chenab Bridge, and the largest railway project in Ghana. AFCON has been awarded a project worth Rs. 5,422 crores in Mumbai Park bullet train corridor. In this project, they will be constructing India's first undersea rail tunnel of 7 km out of the entire scope of 21 km. These unique and large projects executions award investments of AFCON's expertise and able leadership led by Mr. Sakuji Palaji Mistry. I'd like to talk some of the strengths of the company. To reiterate, AFCONS is having a healthy order book of Rs. 31,747 crore as on June 30, 2024, of which government's counterparty is roughly around 65.98%, multilateral 22.4%, and 11.62% of order is from the private sector. The other 24.39% of these orders are from the overseas projects. Subsequent to June 30, 2024, AFCON has won projects worth Rs. 5,936 crores and declared as an bidder in projects worth Rs. 10,732 crores until September 30th of 2024. AFCONs have an indigenous strategic equipment base of around US dollar 490 million as of June 30, 2024. Its equipment base includes 11 marine barges, 153 cranes, 16 tunnel boring machines, 8 large capacity jackups, and 21 piling rigs. AFCON is the only Indian infrastructure company to win the Mike Award six times in a row. Mike stands for Most Innovative Knowledge Enterprise. Among large infrastructure construction companies in India analyzed by a Fitch report, I would like to mention that AFCONS had the highest ROCE and EBITDA margins, and AFCONS PAC has grown at the fastest rate between the financial years 2022 and 24. I would like to bring your attention to the IPO now. The issue is the initial public offering of equity shares of face value of rupees 10 each, aggregating up to rupees 5,430 crores by a combination of a fresh issue of IRR 1250 crores and an OFS by the promoters up to IRR 4180 crores. The price band for the IPO has been fixed from Rs. 440 to 463 per equity share. Bids can be made for a minimum of 32 equity shares and multiples of 32 equity shares thereafter. The offers offer opens on Friday, October 25, 2024 for the public. The anchor investor bidding date shall be one working day prior to the bid offer of opening date. That's the Thursday, October 24, 2024. The offer will close on Tuesday, October 9, 2024. I would like to now uh, have a... Of the, the total size of the IPO is 5,430 crores. Out of that, 1,250 is the fresh and the remaining part 4180 crores is the OFS. 
I will talk about AFCONS. AFCONS is part of Shapurji Palanji Group. We are a 65 year old company and uh, we are into all the segments of infrastructure be it marine, hydro, <coughs> rail and roads, metro, oil and gas. We, uh, we are also, uh, we are all, uh, and also if you see, around 30% of our revenue on a consistent basis comes from the overseas market. In the last 11 uh, years, the company has delivered 79 projects across 17 geographies. And the total value of projects is around 56,000 crores of projects have been delivered in that time. It's a very mature and professionally managed company. We have a lot of processes in place like risk management process, knowledge management process. I mean, we put a lot of emphasis on the kind of projects which we pick that I'll cover in detail. And also, if you look at the management size and the, both in terms of the management and the corporate governance side, it's a very strong in those areas as well. I'll cover all these projects. 65 year old organization and it's a, uh, we have grown significantly over time and the growth is both based on product diversification and geographical diversification. As I just mentioned in the last 11 years, 17 countries is where we have delivered our project. In terms of product also, every now and then the company is diversifying into related segments. We are a pure play diversified EPC infrastructure company. We don't own assets and we are not into building and factories. This is the kind of work we do, large value, complex jobs. Uh, this part is already covered. We are into marine, road and rail, urban, uh, both elevated metro, underground metro, rails, in all the segments of hydro, be it dams, be it irrigation, drinking water supply, road tunnels, and both offshore and onshore oil and gas. As I just mentioned, 30% of our, uh, on an average basis, close to 30% of our revenue comes from the overseas market. Last year, in the last FY24, it was 28%. And we have presence in also almost, I mean, largely we are present in Africa and nearby countries. The company has received a lot of national and international award, not only in terms of project delivery, 